An emotional scene for Susan Jefferson, clutching onto friends, crying at the sight of her brother's house. Just lost because I've never had to go through managing something like this. Jefferson said she was watching the news this morning when she heard about the fire along East Brady Street and immediately recognized the front porch. It belonged to her brother George Walter Jr. and his wife Linda. Their home engulfed. Neighbors had frantically tried to help. And I couldn't get on the front porch. It was too hot. So I went around the side and I was hammering on windows, you know, trying to wake some, yeah, trying to wake somebody up. His ear and, and his, in his hand. You know, there was some other guy in the back of the house pounding on the back door. Firefighters couldn't get inside to fight the fire, not only because it was fully involved, but because the pair were hoarders. Items stacked from floor to ceiling in just about every room. We, we tried to push it, pushing the door open, and it would only open a couple feet. Um, uh, subsequently, we, you know, we knew there was a lot of material back there and you could see through the windows at that point as well that there was a lot of material stacked inside. Jefferson said her brother and wife were collectors and loved going to flea markets, but she knew the home was overloaded and what happened here this morning overwhelming. Crews said to demolish the home immediately. Jefferson left with memories of her younger brother and wife he cared so much for. My brother was more or less a kid. He, he really never grew up. That's probably why I married an older woman, you know, because they were happy together. They were a real good couple together. Investigators think the fire may have started on the front porch. They do not believe it is suspicious. The state police fire marshal is investigating.